We've all heard of PDO or the Petroleum Development Oman. But what is EDO? This is what we will focus on in this episode of OER Explained. Energy Development Oman, also abbreviated as EDO, is a 100% government-owned firm established to achieve a set of government objectives through the implementation of global standards in the management of assets and resources of the state in the oil and gas sector. What this translates to is this. EDO will represent the government's stake in Petroleum Development Oman and will own 100% of the natural gas resources and 60% of crude oil reserves in Block 6, which is currently licensed to PDO. EDO is also liable for funding of the operations in Block 6. But how is this different from PDO? Here is the difference. EDO is a purely commercial body that will receive oil and gas revenues to settle annual capital and operational costs of production, meaning it will remove costs from the state budget. PDO had reportedly earmarked a capital budget of RO 5.4 billion in 2020, and EDO should help reduce that this year. This way, EDO can secure capital and fund its own economically feasible development projects and reflect the actual value of the sector, which will have a positive effect on indicators of financial performance. It will also reflect positively on PDO, allowing it to carry out investment projects without dependence on the state budget. So how has this panned out so far? EDO successfully secured $2.5 billion of debt financing in August this year to meet the funding requirements for Block 6. Reportedly, the debt financing transaction was oversubscribed by more than 100%. Haifa bin Jumal Khaihifi is the CEO of EDO. Upon the announcement of EDO, she said, the establishment of EDO is an extremely significant milestone for the Sultanate of Oman. EDO will play a central role in the Sultanate's energy transition as well as economic diversification. As per EDO's recently revealed brand identity, we also learn that it will focus on renewable energy, alternative energy sources and non-hydrocarbon activities. While the ambitious plans of EDO has begun taking shape, how it proceeds into 2022 is for another episode of OER Explained.